Hey guys, we're at uh, CSC, the Combative Sports Center, and this is my trainer, Cole. Uh, he's <laughs> throwing me around a little bit. But we want to talk about uh, the Turkish get-up and how it can be used to strengthen yourself for a defensive stand-up. So talk about that, Cole. What's, tell us about the Turkish get-up and how you can use it to stand up. So uh, the Turkish get-up is an absolutely fascinating technique. Um, you know, its base is really old, um, old Ottoman Empire elite technique uh, for standing up. Um, incorporated in several ar uh, martial arts, uh, including my own, which is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So, we're going to go over what's known as the standing base, kind of a modified Turkish get up, and a little bit of the capoeira spice that uh, Brazil brought to it. So, I'm going to be dropping down. Mark would have struck me, hit me, something. I ended up on my, my glutes because I don't want to be here, obviously, for any defensive purpose. From here, the main threat is going to be from Mark's hands. So at first, I need to lean back and I need to use my feet to get this distance. Now, if I were to try to turn, I'm going to be vulnerable with my back. If I try to directly stand, Mark's going to be able to strike or kick me. And that's going to be a big thing we're going to worry about. His back foot, I'm going to be using my non-dominant hand to shield my face with my elbow. As soon as I get the space from my kicks, that's a little bit of that spice from Capoeira there. I'm gonna post back, lifting up, back up, fighting stance from standing base. So that's the more combative variation, and we're gonna go over the more fitness variation in just a second. All right, here we go. We're gonna break down this complicated technique a little bit here, so bear with us, folks. Mark's gonna roll onto his back and pressing up with the kettlebell. Now he's gonna bring his knees in and sitting up with the core, facing behind himself, leg out, the hips will come up, knee swings to the inside, leg swings back and pressing it up. Now, my main expertise is in the combative variation for this, but I wanted to show it with the kettlebell as well. All right, so one little variation here or the Turkish getup, a la combative getup. We're gonna be using the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu 9000 Accelerator as my opponent here. Boom, I've been taken down, I've been struck, I've established my guard position, over under, really keeping myself safe. So from here, boom, transitioning to butterfly guard, elevating my opponent's hips, and I'm gonna use my non-dominant hand to swim around and put a base right here. I'm gonna be pushing away, elevating my leg up, bringing it through, right into a grappling position. So there you have it. Basically for the Turkish getup, uh, what you're gonna do is uh, do it in reverse to get down back onto the ground and then go with another rep. How many reps would you say would be a good to start off with when doing Turkish getups? You know what, that's gonna be completely up to your comfort zone. For some people, one or two reps might be completely enough. You're just gonna to have to feel how your body feels. For some people, starting with five to 10 will be completely all right. Just be slow, mindful, and really patient with your body when building up this technique. So definitely try to turn skin up. Uh, it works really well with your core and your lower body uh, and shoulders as well. Uh, again, take it slow on the way up, take it slow going the way down just in reverse, and you should be good to go. Thanks for swinging by. We'll see you guys later.